Dr. Rabowski met with Bob Meyerhoff more than 30 years ago. They talked about possibilities. What was possible if African-American men were given the kind of support that he was able to give his own children? Would it be possible for them to become successful in rigorous STEM programs? Would it be possible for them to earn terminal degrees in math, engineering, biology, and chemistry? That first conversation sparked another and another. And the conversation hasn't ended yet. Together, Mr. Meyerhoff and his wife, Jane, joined Freeman at UMBC on a remarkable journey launching an important experiment in public higher education. My name is Ahmed Ridley, Dr. Ahmed Ridley, M1. M1 means I was in the first cohort of Meyerhoff Scholars. My name is Aaliyah Smith, and I am an M27, one of this year's graduates of the Meyerhoff Scholars Program. I remember Summer Bridge as a boot camp-like experience. Over the past several years, I have regularly returned to campus. In my role at NSA, I mentor Meyerhoff Scholars, and we often discuss Summer Bridge. I am struck by the commonality of the Summer Bridge experience. As someone who came to Summer Bridge many years after Dr. Ridley, my experiences were very similar. Summer Bridge is a time for personal and collective growth. Incoming students have the opportunity to get to know each other on a deeper level and foster relationships that they will carry into the academic year and from what I have heard from Dr. Ridley and other older M's for the rest of our lives. I'll never forget the Summer Bridge closing ceremony. We were formally introduced by our advisors, reflected on the Summer Bridge experience, and looked ahead to our UMBC career. This ceremony marked the moment that we officially became a cohort in the Meyerhoff Scholars Program. Even today, I am grateful for the incredible staying power of the relationships developed over Summer Bridge the lifelong friendships which persist over years, distances, and good and bad times. So, now I am a full professor. <laughs> at Michigan, and I stand at the top of the academic ladder, working my best to pull others behind me up. I work to create a program called Next Brock NextProf Pathfinder, which is focused on preparing early career graduate students of color for the PhD experience, and more importantly, giving them information about what it takes to create competitive a CV for an academic career. <laughs> My academic journey has been great, and it absolutely would not have happened without Robert Meyerhoff and the Meyerhoff Scholars Program. Thank you. Thank you for all that you've done for me to have these Meyerhoff research experiences and really to help me to merge as a leader in academic medicine. I am proud that the work I do is of consequence for both science and for citizens. Thank you, Mr. Meyerhoff. Overall, being a Meyerhoff Scholar gave me a strong foundation as a scientist, but more importantly, that sense of community, which is why we are all here today. Thank you. Um, it's good to be home. Thank you so much, Robert Meyerhoff. Mr. Meyerhoff, thank you. UMBC has become the nation's leading producer of African-American MD PhDs. This is incredibly important. And a tribute to you, Mr. Meyerhoff, 
to you, Dr. Hrabowski, and to all of you here tonight. Thank you. At the end of the day, for me, it does come back to that one phrase, it takes a scientist to train a scientist. There are now 40 Meyerhoff scholars who hold tenured or tenure-track faculty positions in the U.S. at places like Harvard, Duke, Stanford, Caltech, and other top research universities. These institutions only take the very best in the country. Look at the faces around you. This is a growing face of America and the new face of science because of Bob Meyerhoff. It's important to acknowledge that there is one other value this program has always held dear. It is the notion that to whom much is given, much is expected. I recently read a quote by a program alumnus who captured this most succinctly, writing, simply put, the Meyerhoff program has a track record of recruiting, selecting, and grooming good-hearted, grounded, hardworking, brilliant people committed to advancing the lives of others through STEM. There are over 1,200 graduates of the Meyerhoff Scholars Program, and many of them are gathered here with us this evening. Now what we know, and you all will agree, is that it's impossible to express appreciation to one man who's done so much for so many. For a man who, as you've already heard tonight, has literally changed not just science in America, but he has elevated the quality of science and engineering that is now addressing many of the most complex challenges of our nation and our world. We've been told that we stand on the shoulders of giants, and yours have been the shoulders that allowed us to see farther and go faster. And so, you know, for the last 30 years, we've been working to finish the degrees, we've been starting families, we've been building research labs, and it's now that after those 30 years, we find ourselves in a position to follow after your leadership in the era of philanthropy as well. Over the last several months, we have been working on a special philanthropic endeavor, and today, we are pleased to announce that alumni from the Meyerhoff Scholars Program have pledged a half a million dollars to the endowment in honor of Mr. Meyerhoff and the 30th anniversary of the Meyerhoff Scholars Program. Finally, it's a, a notion that I've used over and over from Aristotle, and it's about the fact that excellence matters. When there's excellence, it's hard for people to argue against that. The idea of evidence-based work that leads to excellence. And so I leave you with Aristotle, who said, excellence is never an accident. It is the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wisest choice among many options. And then he said something that I always says, I always say that it gives me goosebumps. He said, choice, not chance, determines destiny. Choice, not chance, determines destiny. Robert Meyerhoff, you have chosen well, and we say thank you. Round of applause and standing ovation for Robert Meyerhoff. I just want to say thank you all. Thank you for the, all the effort. I had a few words. Oh, you do? Oh! <laughs> okay.
<clears throat> I just, I, I'm very appreciative to receive this recognition this evening. Especially I want to thank all of the faculty, the Meyerhoff staff and others, many of whom are here tonight for their contributions and continued support of the Meyerhoff program. Thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Bye -bye. That's excellent.